Hi, Year 3. So now it's time for Chapter 5 of Fantastic Mr Fox, and it's called The Terrible Tractus. So we're going to find out what Boggeth, Bunce and Bean are up to now. I wonder how it will go for Fantastic Mr Fox. As with before, I will put the Vipers questions up before the reading and after the reading, and you can pause the video at any time and then we'll discuss the answers at the end. Bye! So now we're on chapter five of Fantastic Mr Fox and it's called The Terrible Tractors. Your first Vipers question was a prediction question and it said predict what will happen in chapter 5 from the title. So at this point I want you to write down what you think is about to happen and I want you to write down at least three sentences about what you think will happen remembering that the, the title of the chapter is The Terrible Tractors. Okay, off we go. As the sun rose the next morning, Boggess and Bunce and Bean were still digging. They had dug a hole so deep you could have put a house into it, but they had not yet come to the end of the fox's tunnel. They were all very tired and cross. Dan and Blast, said Boggess. Whose rotten idea was this? Bean's idea, said Bunce. Boggess and Bunce both stared at Bean. Bean took another swig of cider and then put the flask back into his pocket without offering it to the others. Listen, he said angrily. I want that fox. I'm going to get that fox. I'm not giving in till I've strung him up over my front porch, dead as a dumpling. We can't get him by digging, that's for sure, said the fat Boggess. I've had enough of digging. Bunce, the little pot-bellied dwarf, looked up at Bean and said, Have you got any more stupid ideas then? What? said Bean. I can't hear you. Bean never took a bath. He never even washed. As a result, his ear holes were clogged with all kinds of muck, wax and bits of chewing gum and dead flies and stuff like that. This made him deaf. Speak louder, he said to Bunce and Bunce shouted back. Got any more stupid ideas? So at this point, you need to pause and think about the Viper's questions that you've read because the inference Viper question was why can't Bean hear? So think about what we've discovered about Bean and write down your answer. Bean rubbed the back of his neck with a dirty finger. He had a boil coming there and it itched. What we need on this job, he said, is machines, mechanical shovels. We'll have them out in five minutes with mechanical shovels. This was a pretty good idea, and the other two had to admit it. All right then, Bean said, taking charge. Boggus, you stay here and see the fox doesn't escape. Bunce and I will go and fetch our machinery. If he tries to get out, shoot him quick. The long, thin Bean walked away. Their tiny bunts trotted after him. The fat bogger stayed where he was, with his gun pointing at the foxhole. <coughs> oh. oh, is there any good illustration for you to have a look at before we start? Now remember that the next Viper's question is an explain question and it says how does Quentin Blake make the machines look scary so look very carefully at the illustration 
and think about the illustrator Quentin Blake and how he's made the machines look scary. At this point, you could also think about how the author, Roald Dahl, makes the machines look scary by the word choice he chooses. Oops. Soon, the two enormous Caterpillar tractors with mechanical shovels on their front end came clanking into the wood. Bean was driving one, Bunce the other. The machines were both black. They were murderous, brutal looking monsters. Here we go then, shouted Bean. Death to the fox, shouted Bunce. The machines went to work, biting huge mouthfuls of soil out of the hill. The big tree under which Mr Fox had dug his hole in the first place was toppled like a matchstick. On all sides, rocks were sent flying and trees were falling and the noise was deafening. Down in the tunnel, the foxes crouched, listening to the terrible clanging and banging noises overhead. What's happening, Dad? cried the small foxes. What are they doing? Mr Fox didn't know what was happening or what they were doing. It's an earthquake, cried Mrs Fox. Look, said one of the small foxes, our tunnel's getting shorter. I can see daylight. They all looked around and yes, the mouth of the tunnel was only a few feet away from them now. And in the circle of daylight beyond, they could see the two huge black tractors almost on top of them. Tractors, shouted Mr Fox, and mechanical shovels. Dig for your lives. Dig, dig, dig. So chapter six will be next and it's called The Race. So there's a quick clue. Okay, but for now, we're gonna stop there. I want you to have a good look at the picture, think about what we've read and answer the Vipers questions. Okay, so it's time to look over the Vipers questions and the answers for chapter five. So if you need to, you can go back and review the video in the part where we read the text, or you can check the answers that you've written down. The first Vipers question was a prediction question. So you had to predict before you heard the story, what will happen in chapter five from the title. Okay, so have a think about your answer. Let's have a look at what I put. So I've given you a sentence stem. They will use the tractors too. Now remember, because it's a prediction question, you need to use your ideas and your opinion. So I can tell you some of mine, um, but yours will also be correct as long as you, your opinions and your predictions are about the story. So I predict they will use the tractors to dig down to Mr. Fox and his family. Or I predict they will use the tractors to um, pull down the tree and the rest of the forest because they are so hungry. Or they will use the tractors to find Mr. Fox and his family and make a, a plan with them to use the land for another use that will make them more money. So have a think of your answer. The next one was an inference question. Okay, so that's where you need to do some thinking about what you've read. So the question was, why can't Bean hear? Why can't Bean hear? Okay, so in your, in the reading, it will give you some clues and I'll show you my answer. So Bean can't hear because his ears are clogged with all kinds of muck and wax. Now in the text, they actually use the words clogged with all kinds of muck and wax. And they gave you some more information about what might be in there. Goodness me, there was chewing gum and all sorts. So any piece of the text that shows you what was in Bean's ear would be correct for this answer. Okay, so the next one was a retrieval question. What does Mrs. Fox think the awful noise is? 
So in the text, it tells us what she said. And what does she think the awful noise is? You can always go back and check if you need to. Okay, my answer is, Mrs Fox thinks the awful noise is an earthquake. Because that's what I found in the text. That's what she said. And the last question is an explain question. So the question was about the illustrator. How does Quinton Blake make the machines so scary? So I have included a picture of the illustration and a picture from the movie. Some of you may have seen. And here is my answer. The illustrations show the machines ripping up the ground and removing the tree. So if they can rip up the ground and remove the tree, they must be extremely powerful and they must be able to move an awful lot of earth. OK, but any any of your answers that show us why the illustrator, why the illustrator has made some of the choices that he has um, in order to make the machines look scary will also be correct. So have a look over the answers, check them with yours. And then we will go on to chapter six. See you soon.